about a year ago, something happened to me when I was riding the bus. I got on, everything was fine, and then a few stops after I got on, um, this man got on, and I didn't really think of that, um, because it happens, sometimes people have to sit next to you because it's full on the bus, um, and that happened, he sat down next to me, and you know, it was nothing more than that. I was listening to music, and I noticed that beside me he was kind of getting a bit close, you know, kind of invading my, my personal space. But I, I didn't say anything because I know that some people don't have the same definition of a personal space. Um, I mean, some people are, are content talking to me this close to my face. Um, and I feel like I just want to back away. And I felt like he kept getting close and he was even leaning forwards and it was, it was weird. And before I know it, he's holding his hand on my knee. And I was like, oh my god, what is he doing? Is this happening? Is this... You know, I freaked out. And so I very gently pushed away his hand because yeah, I was in shock. I was like, I didn't even notice. I didn't realize what was happening. He did it again. After I pushed away his hand, he did it again. And that's when I started getting angry. I was furious. I wanted to punch him in the face. I wanted to, so I pushed away his hand again. But this time it was a lot more forceful, a lot more forceful than I had intended. That's how angry I got. I was like, and I thought to myself right then and there, I was so furious, I thought, if he as much as tries to touch me again, I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna make a huge fucking scene and I'm gonna embarrass the hell out of him. That's how angry I was in that moment. Luckily for him, he didn't. But I think that the reason I got so angry was because I know that he was doing wrong. He was doing something that was very wrong. He was thinking of me as an object, something that he could do whatever he wanted to. A lot worse things has happened to people, um, especially girls, but this happens to boys too. Don't leave out the boys. Um, because people and especially children believe, want to believe that Grown-ups want what's best for them, and grown-ups don't always want what's best for you, even though they should. That is not how you behave. And I'm here today to tell you how you know when something's wrong, okay? The second you start feeling uncomfortable with something or someone, that's when it starts going wrong. That's when it's wrong, and that's when you should leave. Doesn't matter if there's a stranger on the bus. Doesn't matter if you're half naked and with your boyfriend. It doesn't matter if your friends are trying to get you into trying drugs or alcohol and you don't want to. That's wrong. All those things, wrong. Because you're feeling uncomfortable. You decide when something's wrong or not. And that's the thing. And don't, don't try to Consider this person's feelings, okay? They, they're not worth it. Why should you be nice to someone who's trying to make you do something you don't want to? How much, how much could you hurt that person? Do you want to be friends with someone who is trying to make you do things that you don't want to do? I hope the answer is no. And my only goal and my only aim with this video is that the next time you're in a situation where you feel, this is wrong, I don't want this, this is not what I want for myself. Leave. I am 100% supporting you in that. 100%. And I think that it's time that we start supporting ourselves and we start realising our self-worth. It's okay to be a bit, you know, insecure about yourself, that's okay. I think we all are at some degree, but don't let it take over because you're much better than that.
and you are worth a lot more than that. You be, be a bit selfish. That's it. That's what I preach. Be a bit selfish sometimes. Thank you for hearing what I had to say. Be safe out there. I'm telling you, I've got your backs. All of you. I've got your backs.